Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about finding initial and final values. And this is first video of chapter number 8. Now let's just recall the time concept that we have learned earlier. earlier. At t is equal to 0 we are standing. So t less than 0 is time prior to uh, this point. And then t greater than 0 actually we can divide it into two parts. t immediately after 0 which is called t0 plus. And then when the circuit becomes steady state that is called t infinity. Now at t0 plus the circuit is actually in the transient mode. So here we don't consider the capacitor to be open circuit and the inductor to be short circuit. But after this when t becomes uh, infinity or becomes a uh, steady state condition then uh, inductor becomes short circuit and capacitor becomes open circuit. Now two important points that we have to keep in mind number one is the voltage polarity of the capacitor and the current direction through the inductor and also you have to keep in mind, now look at this diagram, this is the point T0, slightly before that is T0 minus and slightly after that is T0 plus. And what here we are trying to say is that the capacitor voltage does not change. So if the capacitor voltage at this point at minus is let us say 5 volt, then at T0 plus it will also remain 5 volt. And similarly, the inductor current is continuous, that is, it does not change. So if the inductor current at minus is, let's say, 2 ampere, then at T0 plus, it will also remain 2 ampere. And one more thing, we have been um, emphasizing this earlier, that in chapter 7, 8, whenever we say I current, that means the current through the inductor, and whenever say V voltage, that means the voltage across the capacitor. We don't write I, L and V, C. We just write I and V. So you have to keep this in mind. Okay, now let's do the first example. The switch has been closed for a long time. So this switch has been closed for a long time and it opens at T is equal to 0. So we have to find I0 plus and V0 plus di0 plus and dv0 plus di0 dt and dv0 dt and i infinity and v infinity. So all these timings are after t uh, is equal to 0. But to solve what we will do is first of all we will look at the circuit at t less than 0 or before t0. So before t0 this switch was closed. So we close the switch here. And since it was closed for a long time, then we have reached or we had reached the steady state at t less than zero. So the inductor will now be treated as a short circuit and the capacitor fully charged will behave like an open circuit. And so whatever current or voltage we find that will be for t less than zero or at t zero minus. So let's see the current i0, i0 minus actually we are just before the switch is closed so we are here. So i0 minus is 12 divided by 4 plus 2 so 2 ampere. So this is i0 minus. And similarly the voltage here is you know the current is 2 ampere so 2 multiplied by 2 4 volt or you can do it by voltage deviant rule 12 divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So whichever way you feel convenient. So V0 is 4 volt. V0 minus is 4 volt. And now we apply that rule that the current across inductor does not change instantly or the voltage across capacitor does not change instantly to find these two parameters I0 plus and I V0 plus. So as we are saying that I0 plus uh, I0 plus is actually equal to I0 minus and which is 2 ampere from here. 
So I0 plus is also 2 ampere. And similarly, V0 plus is equal to V0 minus and which was 4 volt from here, therefore V0 plus is also 4 volt. Now we come to the T greater than 0 portion. Now let's understand what happens at T greater than 0. There are two portions of this. One as we said the transient portion which we call that it is at T 0 plus time and then is the steady state which is at T infinity time. So the circuit at T 0 plus time the switch is open so the switch is open but inductor is not short circuit as yet and the capacitor is not open circuit as yet because we are in the transient period. So this is our circuit at T0 plus. And we can draw it neatly, we can write it like this. But at T infinity the inductor now will be short circuit and the capacitor will be open circuit. So this will be now the circuit at T infinity and so we can draw it neatly like this. So this is the circuit at T infinity. So keep this in mind while we are solving the problem. Okay, now let's come on to solving the second part. Now the second part we have to find di 0 dt and dv 0 dt. Now keep in mind that dv dt we know ic is c dv dt. So to find this we have to find ic or the capacitor current. Similarly we know that vl is di dt, l di dt. So we have for this we have to find VL or the voltage across the inductor. Okay, so this was the uh, circuit at T uh, zero plus, and now in this circuit we know that IC zero is same as I zero. This the current through the capacitor is same as the current through the inductor and current through inductor at I0 plus we had found out from previous slide to be 2 ampere and therefore IC0 plus is also 2 ampere. And now that we have known IC0, so now we'll put the voltage formula that IC is C dV dt and from here dV dt is IC over C and then we put the zero sign so dV dt is 0 is here IC0 and IC0 is 2, C is 0.1, so dV dt 0 plus dt is 20 volts per second. So this way we have found out the uh, dV dt 0. And now to find uh, dI dt 0, we have to, we know that VL is L dI dt, and therefore dI dt is VL over L. So we need to find the voltage VL, and voltage VL can be found by KVL equation around this loop. So let's write the KVL equation. So by KVL equation minus 12 plus 4i plus VL and plus V0 is equal to 0. And now plugging in the values, we know that I0 plus is 2 ampere and V0 plus is 4 volt. So we plug in the values and shifting this on the other side, VL0 is equal to 12 minus 8 minus 4 is equal to 0 volt. So VL0 is 0, so now we plug in into this to get the voltage DI dt 0 is VL0 over L, VL0 we found from here to be 0 and therefore the whole thing is equal to 0 amperes per second. So this is the second part. Now let's come to the third part, I infinity, V infinity. So we had already learned that this at infinity the circuit will become like this or like this because now the inductor is short circuit capacitor is open and from here you can see that I0 the current through the circuit is 0 because no current flows this is open circuit so I0 is 0 and this voltage is same as this voltage because there is no drop here therefore V, Z, V infinity sorry and this was I infinity so V infinity is 12 volt. So I infinity is 0 ampere, no current flowing, and V infinity is 12 volt. So this is the first part. Now let's the practice problem. Same set of parameters we have to find out. Here this switch is open 
and it closes at t is equal to 0. So let's first of find uh, the t less than 0 situation. At t less than 0, we'll find i0 and v0. At t less than 0, this is open. So this becomes a circuit. Inductor short circuits and capacitor opens because this is in steady state uh, at t less than 0. And so from here, we can find the current i0 minus. This current is 24 divided by 10 plus 2, so 2 ampere. And this voltage is the voltage across this resistor. So 2 ampere multiplied by 2, so 4 volt or by voltage division, 24 divided by 10 plus 12 multiplied by 2. So I0 is 2 ampere and V0 is 4 volt. And now we need to find I0 plus and V0 plus. So we'll, we had found out I0 minus and V0 minus. So we'll apply the same logic that the inductor current cannot change instantaneously and the capacitor voltage cannot change instantaneously. Therefore, I0 plus is equal to I0 minus is equal to 2 ampere. And similarly, V0 plus is equal to V0 minus is equal to 4 volt. So this is the answer for the first part, 2 ampere and 4 volt. Now let's look at the second part. Again, I hope you remember that for this we have to find IC and for this we have to find VL. So T greater than 0 or at T is equal to 0 plus. Our circuit will be like this. The switch is just closed and uh, inductor capacitor are in place they have not been short circuited as yet we are in the transient period now what is happening here when this switch is closed that means any current from here will go through the short circuit and then go to the circuit nothing will pass through this 10 ohm resistor therefore this 10 ohm resistor is basically eliminated or short circuited so our redrawn circuit will look like this so this is now the circuit and now as we mentioned, we have to find this current IC and we have to find this voltage VL. Now I0 we know, I0 we have found out 2 ampere and this voltage we know, therefore we can find this current here, IR current. So let's see, I0 and V0 we know already, we have to find I. IC and VL and now from here you can see IC is actually I0 minus IR actually I0 is equal to IC plus IR and therefore IC is I0 minus IR so IC is I0 minus IR and now I0 we know is 2 ampere we don't know IR but we know V0 V0, this voltage we know, the same voltage appearing here. Therefore, this voltage are 4 volt divided by 2 is the current IR. So, now you can write the value IR is VR over R, 4 over 2, 2 ampere. Now we plug in the values here. So, this is 2 ampere and this one also we found from here, 2 ampere. And therefore, IC is equal to 0. So, now let's put the values in formula. This from IC is C dV dt and that means that dV dt 0 is IC 0 plus C, IC 0 is 0 from here and therefore dV dt 0 is 0. Now let's go to find uh, dI dt. Okay, this was the circuit. Now we can write KVL across this loop. We start from here, minus V, minus V0 plus same here, same here, then VL minus V0 plus, then plus VL0 and plus 24 and from here we get VL equal to 20 volt. And now let's put in the formula, VL is LDI dt, therefore DI dt0 is VL0 over L and VL0 we have found from here 20 divided by L, so this is 50 amperes per second. So the answer of second part is 50 amperes per second and 
zero volts per second. Now let's go to the third part. I infinity v infinity. Now in infinity we put the inductor short circuit and the capacitor open. So this is the circuit. Now current through this is the I infinity. So 24 divided by this resistance so that means 12 ampere is the current and uh, V infinity is the same voltage 24 will appear here or you can say that the voltage across 2 ampere is also V uh, infinity. So 2, uh, 12 ampere multiplied by 2 ohm is also 24. So whichever way it is convenient. So we write I infinity is 24 over 2, 24 over 2, 12 ampere and V infinity is 2 multiplied by 12, 24 volt. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve the initial and final value problems. Thank you.